are, can you come downstairs to the living room please? We want to tell you something important. Yes mom and dad. What do you need? Well Lamar, what we wanted to tell you is that we are leaving to go out somewhere for a couple of hours, and we can't trust you to be alone because you might do something bad. Which is why we hired a new babysitter to babysit you for a couple of hours until we get back. Isn't that awesome? Now, a babysitter. Who will it be? Oh, you'll see. She helps babysit troublemakers who act out very badly towards their parents, and she is also Corey Comedian 1993's buddy and bestie. That must be the new babysitter. We'll get the door. Hi there. You must be here to babysit Lamar for a couple of hours, correct? That's correct. And if you both don't know me, my name is Cecile Bernard, and I am one of the members of the Cheer Girls, and I'm also one of the club members of the Royal Purple Girls Club Palace as well. Hey. I think we both know you. We used to watch two of your TV shows all the time, and I have to say, your TV show at both the Cheer Girls and the RPGCP Girls was amazing. Yeah, I agree, and like my husband said, you and the other girls including Windows Princess Precure Fan 9000 did a terrific job on making both of the series. Thank you so much guys. As said, WPPF 9000 is renewing our series for a third season, so I hope both of you will watch the season 3 episodes on TV when it comes out. Wow, that sounds good to us. We'll watch the episodes of season 3 when it's out. That's good to hear. Great. Anyways, me and my wife are going out somewhere, and I need you to watch Lamar for a couple of hours and make sure that he does what he's supposed to do and behaves properly. And if Lamar causes any more trouble towards you, you call us and we'll ground him when we get back. Okay. You both can count on me. Good. And also if you and Lamar are planning on leaving somewhere. Here is the house key for you to let him in when y'all get back. All right. I know exactly what to do. All right then. We'll be back in a couple of hours. See you later. You too. Now I need to go introduce myself to Lamar. Hi Lamar. It's so nice to meet you. I am Cecile Bernard, and I will be your new babysitter for today because your parents are going out somewhere and they wanted me to babysit you for a couple of hours to make sure that you do what you're supposed to do and behave right. Okay then. Nice to meet you Cecile. Nice to meet you too. Now before we can do something, I will give you a warning. You will have four strikes, but be careful. If you manage to get all four strikes, then I will call your parents to ground you when they get back home. Do I make myself clear on that? Yes ma'am. Good. So what should we do today? How about we watch TV for a little while? Good idea. How about we watch my favorite show, The Cheer Girls? No. I don't want to watch your favorite show. That show sucks as hell. I want to watch and listen to hip-hop and rap music. No Lamar, we are not watching and listening to hip-hop and rap music because I'm not into that type of genre. We are watching my show and that's final. No. I'm not watching your stupid show. I want to listen to hip-hop and rap music. Lamar, don't start with your attitude today. Either you watch my show with me, or you will get your first strike. Ugh. Fine, I'll watch your show with you. Now that's more like it. That first episode of the third season of the show is a piece of trash. You know what? Take this. Oh my god Lamar. How dare you smash the TV and kick it to the floor. Now you will have to pay a bunch of dollars to fix the TV that you destroyed. That's it. You now received your first strike. Three more strikes and I'm calling your parents. Understand? Yes ma'am. Good. Now help me pick this TV up. Hell no! I'm not doing that. 
Oh yes you are. Now help me pick up this TV and put it back to where it was. I'm not fucking doing that. Then you will receive your second strike. Okay okay okay. I'll help you pick up this TV. Nope. It's too late now. If you should have listened to me, then you would have not gotten your second strike. So now you have two strikes. Two more strikes and I'm calling your parents. Do I make myself clear? Huck. Yes ma'am, I understand. Good. Alright. I picked up the TV that you destroyed and put it back to where it was. So what else should we do besides watching TV? How about we play a game of Monopoly? Sure thing. I love playing Monopoly. Cool. Let me get my Monopoly board from my room and we'll play it through the kitchen table. Sounds good to me. All right. Are you ready to challenge me to a game of Monopoly? You bet I am. And I always win at this game, so I hope I win this time. Oh, we'll see about that. Okay, so do you want to go first, Lamar? Sure. I'll go first, and you go last. Okay, then. Roll the dice. All right. Now, I rolled an 11. And that means I get to stop at St. Charles Place. Your turn, Cecile. All right. You can, you can do, do this, Cecile. Cecile. You, you can, can do, do, it. do it. Great. I rolled a 7, and I stopped at the Pennsylvania Railroad. Oh boy, I am so close to winning this game. Your turn, Lamar. All right. Shit. I got a 1, and I stopped at Cecile's place called Boardwalk. Ha 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 ha. You stopped at my place. So how much do I need to pay you, Cecile? $900. But I only have $500. Well that's too bad, because I'm the winner of this game now. See, I told you that I was gonna win this game. Lamar, how dare you flip the Monopoly board over just because you lost. That's it. You're now on your third strike. One more strike, and I'm calling your parents. And I mean it. Do you understand me? Yes ma'am. Good. Now, I'm hungry and I'm in the mood for some hot dogs, so I think we should take a ride to the hot dog stand so I can be fully satisfied. Would you like a hot dog there? Yes. I do want a hot dog. Great. Now let's head to my car and go there. And don't forget that I have your house keys that your parents gave to me before they left so we can get back in the house when we get back. That sounds pretty cool right there. Without the house keys, I would be locked out and stay outside until my parents got back. I agree with you. Now let's go. So Cecilia, what kind of hot dog are you planning on getting? What about you? For me, I will get a hot dog with chili, barbecue sauce, onions, and lettuce with fries and a large Coca-Cola. That's like a good choice to order. We're almost there, so we'll be there in a few minutes. Hello and welcome to the hot dog stand. What can I get you today? Can I have a hot dog with chili, ketchup, coleslaw and onions with fries and a medium large Sprite please? Sure. And as for the boy behind you, what would you like to order? I would like to order a hot dog with chili, barbecue sauce, onions and lettuce with fries and a large Coca-Cola. I'm sorry sir, but we don't have any barbecue sauce at this stand. We only have ketchup, mustard, and mayonnaise at this stand. What? You're joking, right? I am not joking. I am being dead serious. How about you get your hot dog with ketchup, mustard, or mayonnaise instead? No! I don't want my hot dog with ketchup, mustard, and mayonnaise! I want my hot dog with barbecue sauce right now! Lamar, don't start with this. The worker told you that they don't have any barbecue sauce available at this stand. So you can neither get your hot dog with ketchup, mustard or mayonnaise along with your food and drink. 
or we can go back to your house and you will get your fourth and final strike. I've got a better idea. Why don't you go to the store across the street and get some barbecue sauce so you can give me my hot dog with barbecue sauce? Huh? So you are not gonna give me my fushing hot dog with barbecue sauce? Well, take this for your own fushing effort. Sir, what are you doing? Oh boy, I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> Somebody help me please. I got beat up by this black boy named Lamar. Oh my god. What happened to you? Lamar had just beaten me up just because he wanted a hot dog with barbecue sauce when I told him that we didn't have any barbecue sauce at the stand. Oh my. That's not good. Don't you worry. I'll call an ambulance right away. And the rest of you, get your food and drinks and leave whilst I deal with my co-worker. Uh-oh. I'm screwed. Come on, Lamar. Let's go back to your house right now. You are in super deep mega trouble now. Oh 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 Lamar are you serious right now I can't believe you beat up the worker just because you didn't get your hot dog with barbecue sauce I told you that the worker didn't have any barbecue sauce at the stand and he asked you nicely to get a hot dog with ketchup mustard or mayonnaise but no you decided to beat up the worker and now he has to go to the hospital for minor injuries thanks to you that's it you have now received your fourth and final strike so this means I'm calling your parents to ground you. Hello? Hi Mr. and Mrs. Gravely, this is Cecile Bernard calling to inform you about what your son Lamar has done. Ugh, not again. What has he done this time? Well, we were watching my show called The Cheer Girls on TV and Lamar got really angry and smashed the TV into pieces. Next he refused to help me pick up the TV that he destroyed and put it back to where it was, which led to me having to pick it up and put it back to where it was by myself. Then after that, we played Monopoly for a couple of hours, and Lamar got really angry over him losing and me winning a game, which caused him to flip the Monopoly board over. And last but not least, we went to the hot dog stand and Lamar took his order saying that he wanted a hot dog with barbecue sauce along with his food and drinks, but the worker told him that they didn't have any barbecue sauce available at the stand, so he yelled at the worker and started beating him up really bad. And thanks to Lamar, the worker had to go to the hospital for minor injuries, which will take weeks and weeks for him to recover more easily. Can you ground your son for this when you both get home please? He did what? Thanks for telling us about this. We will so ground Lamar for this. We are coming home right now. Okay, thank you so much, and I hope that I will never see Lamar again in my life. Bye. Bye. Lamar, your parents are on their way home to ground you. I am so done with you and your terrible behavior. I will never, and I mean, never, ever, 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 in my life see you again. I tried to be very nice to you, but now you made me so angry to the point where my head explodes. So once again, I will never see you again. I hope this teaches you a big lesson not to do what you just did today. I am leaving right now. And I hope to God that I will never see you again. Goodbye Lamar, you psychopath maniac.
Oh my freaking god Lamar. How dare you misbehave with your new babysitter Cecile whilst we were gone. What in god's name is wrong with you? First you destroyed the TV, then you refused to help Cecile pick up the TV and put it back to where it was, then you flipped the Monopoly board over just because Cecile won and she lost, and now you beat up the worker over not getting your hot dog with barbecue sauce. This has got to be one of the worst things you've ever done towards your babysitter. And because of that, Cecile told us that she will never in her life see you ever again. And not just that, but the worker that you just beat up had to go to the hospital for minor injuries, which will take him weeks and weeks to recover more easily. That freaking does it Lamar. You are grounded until the 2021 to 2022 school year starts and until you graduate from beyond high school. You will have no computer, no video games, no movies, no TV, no phone, no food no drinks, no music, and much more during your grounding time. And while you are grounded, you will be eating absolutely nothing, and I mean, absolutely nothing, but lumpy potatoes for every meal including dessert. Now go upstairs to your room and really be ashamed of yourself for what you did towards your babysitter. <laughs> and if you don't stop crying like a motor car, we will turn you into one and have you given away as a prize on one of Vance's game shows.